All right, how's it going, guys? We had a thing come up in Discord, so I decided to make this short video to try to explain fluid pipes to people a little bit better. So you have your normal fluid pipes like this. This is a stainless steel pipe. Then you have your quad and your uh, nanupal fluid pipes like this. And the quad will have four pipes in one block. The nanupal, obviously, nine in one block. And the person was wondering because this, when you connect it, connects right in the center and was confused on how it was going to work like that. Basically, you don't connect, you don't try to connect multiple pipes to those different spots. This just says I'm connected to this network of pipes. And it will select one of these nine pipes that's going to be connected to that one. So if I had another one here and another one here, this would take, say, slot one. This would take, say, slot two. And this would take, say, slot three. How it chooses it, I don't know but it will only ever fill one of these pipes with one fluid. So you don't have to worry about it uh, connecting weird and having a fluid blocking another fluid. Think of this as a interstate for fluids, um, where any fluid can come in up to nine and move down the line now if you need to take them out you need to have a filter um if you look at this block here there's a filter right here if i disconnect that you'll be able to see it a little bit better that's a filter you'll want to put one of those on as your exit ramp to say, I want that one type of fluid to go into this pipe. And it doesn't matter if it's on the nanopo pipe or if it's on the single pipe. It'll work either way. It'll just say, you're the only one with access out of this pipe or you're the only one with access into this pipe. So, um, but remember... A nanupal pipe is a small pipe times nine. A quadruple pipe is a normal size pipe times nine. So if you look at uh, pipes here, if we look at the um, copper here, that'll work. A nanupal only has a bandwidth of 100 liters a tick, which is the same as a small copper fluid pipe, which is 100. Because that is all that there is, is nine of that one pipe. Same with quadruple, has a bandwidth of 300. Same as the normal copper. So if you want faster throughput, you need a better type of pipe. Having nine pipes is not going to do you any good versus a small or normal sized pipe. You need a better pipe. And I was also asked about trying to put multiple things into one machine. That's where you want an extender. That is where you need something like this. And I'll leave a link to the extender video, which there may be a new one of those coming soon. This is a very old video, but still equivalent. That is where you're going to want an extender, either a fluid extender, inventory extender, or fluid and inventory extender, depending on what you're doing. That'll let you put multiple things into one machine.
this will as well, but you need to make sure that you block things that are coming in because if this pipe is ever empty and you have, say, sulfuric acid running down this length, it's going to go into there. Which brings me to the other point. Fluid is now, fluid pipes are now a network. Huh? If you use a magnifying glass, you'll see where it says this fluid pipe network is empty. That doesn't just mean that this pipe is empty. It means the entire length of that pipe is empty. Like if I click on uh -huh. this one, it's going to say that network is empty. Every pipe connected to this pipe is currently empty. That pipe, this pipe, and this pipe. Even though I have filters, it's still checking those pipes. Where if we come over here and check this one, okay, it says there are 70 liters of oxygen in the network. Or in that pipe, there's 100 liters of hydrogen in that pipe. And the fluid network itself contains 3,004 liters of oxygen and 6,710 liters of hydrogen. That is checking every pipe from here all the way out to where I put them in the tanks. And... In GT5, fluids would slosh between pipes and was very laggy. Now, fluids basically, for the most part, ignore up and down. Um, elevation does not matter. Um, think of the pipe as being a void inside, but it goes by gravity basically pushing that fluid to the bottom and spreading it out across the pipe. So if you have a huge pipe, we'll say one of these huge iridium fluid pipes, it has a capacity of 12,000 in that one pipe. If you put one bucket in that pipe, it's not going to stay in that one pipe. It's going to spread across however many pipes you have connected for how long that pipe is. So if you have a hundred pipes and you put one bucket into that network, you're going to have a hundred millibuckets of fluid in each one of those pipes. Not one bucket in one pipe and all the rest empty or that one bucket trying to go across from one bucket, from one pipe to another pipe to another, which is where we had lag in GT5. So uh, remember that it'll try to spread across the entire network. That's where you need to use, um, that's what you have to be careful with these nanopo and quadruples and make sure you use filters and or extenders. Think of an extender as a one-way valve. Um, if you look up here, I have one set up here where I have one pipe going in here, I have one pipe going in the back, and that is leading into a nanupo pipe here. And this is being used as a one-way valve to make sure that the oxygen can go in here, the hydrogen can go in there, but the oxygen and the hydrogen can never go backwards. They can only ever go in that direction because I have this set that it is extending the input of this pipe. So it goes in, it goes in, and it must go out. So depending on... If you want to split up a network, extenders are great for that. It'll cut your network down and you'll have less of a network. You'll have independent independent segments of a network. Um, they're also great for one-way valves, like I said there. 
Um, hopefully I've answered everything. If there's any other questions, let me know. Um, the only other thing to remember with pipes is the bandwidth and the capacity are two different things. Bandwidth is their throughput. How much can go through in a matter of time. So like the one I'm hovering over is 200 bandwidth, 400 capacity. It's always half of its capacity is its throughput. So if you need to get an entire bucket's worth, you need a pipe that has a capacity of two buckets worth. And so on and so forth. So see, a huge copper pipe has 1,200. So therefore, it can do over a bucket every tick. Um, for the most part, the capacity does not matter. What you're going to care about is your bandwidth. That's how much can flow through that pipe. And certain pipes can handle certain things. Don't try to put a gas in a wood pipe. Don't try to put an acid in a copper pipe. Uh, things like that. So, if you have any other questions, Discord is your best friend or leave me a comment. I'll do my best to try to answer it, and I will see you guys next time.